Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna talk about my different sources of passive income and the side hustles that I do and go over those in my income of the last month. So if you're new to this channel or if you subscribed already, this is a video I've been wanting to do a lot and I'm excited to break down all my different sources of passive income and other hustles that I do on the side and show you that you can make a full-time income on some of these hustles. Then at the end of the video, I'm gonna get into a couple new things that I'm going to try, and I'll put up on the channel some update videos on then. So watch till the end, and I'll go over what I'm gonna be trying next. All right, so jumping right into it, here we have my first source of passive income. And yes, this is definitely passive income on Udemy. I've made a couple videos on that, and I'm gonna be linking all the videos down below on all of my different sources of passive income that we go over here. I've made videos on all of them, I think. And so if you have seen my videos on Udemy, you know that I used to make a lot of money on Udemy and now not so much. So it's still 100% passive income for me. I made most of my courses four or five years ago that are still going, getting sales as of last month. But I do wanna get back into Udemy and start making courses and putting courses up there. But as you can see on that little chart, if it's not too small, sorry, a lot of these screenshots are going to be pretty small because I didn't have much room on these slides. But I was making upwards of 100 a month. You can see that top line is where I did actually cross 100 um, one month and then two months right at 100. But after that, I've been making... 10 to 20 dollars a month on average and last month i made 15 on udemy so hoping to get more courses out there and bump that income back up towards a hundred dollars a month next is ebay i usually sell a lot more on ebay but last month i sold one thing for 42 dollars and 76 cents and it was a print on demand item i sell print on demand on ebay basically i just throw the picture up there and once someone buys it I go to my print supplier which is usually Printful and I'll just order it for them and send it directly to them and then on eBay I'll send them the order confirmation and tracking info so I haven't done this that much because I tried it and didn't have much, much success with some of the same product, um, items that I've had success with on Etsy which is my main source of income that I'll get to at the end um, if you haven't figured out I'm doing this by least amount of income to the most so this is the second number on here eBay and yeah so only sold one thing didn't really put too much time or effort into eBay the other thing I don't like about eBay is it's a lot of work um, if you're selling old items around your house you have to package the map up or buy packaging, go to the post office, um, do all of that, which is a lot of hassle and work. I'm more into the passive income or things I can do strictly all online. So selling print on demand on eBay is not bad, but manually fulfilling those um, versus like on Etsy or Redbubble where it's all automatic it's a lot harder for me to get into and just haven't sold as much on eBay, but looking to get more into that as well so $25 in profit it cost me $17 roughly to buy the item and ship it out so made $25 profit and that brings our total to $40 for the month the next thing is Redbubble which if you guys are subscribed to this channel you know I make a ton of videos on Redbubble I've been doing it for the last three months it's a really cool platform where you can sell print on demand basically anything, shirts, um, coffee cups, posters, socks, they have tons of different items. But the cool thing about it is it's super passive. Once you throw up your designs, they handle all of the shipping and customer service aspect. All you have to do is throw up designs. So $90 was my best out of the three months, as you can see in the payments uh, spreadsheet, I guess, down here, payment history. And last month I only did $69, so hoping to up that to get over 100 on Redbubble in this month. So that brings the total to $109 in income for the month. Next is Fiverr. 
and if you guys aren't familiar with Fiverr, I've made videos on Fiverr as well. So Fiverr is a website where you can basically put up any kind of service for $5 or more. So if you haven't watched my videos on Fiverr, I sell DraftKings and FanDuel items mostly, but I've also been getting into a few other things, just throwing up kind of random things on Fiverr, and I've made a couple of those sales as well. So that would bring the total up to $309, and my Fiverr is 90% passive income with selling these fantasy lineups that I play every day anyways, just because I think it's fun. All I do is screenshot them and send them out to people who are wanting a lineup um, the other 10% of things is like some minor Photoshop or uh, like website audits or things like that. You can pretty much do whatever you want on Fiverr. Okay, next is if you haven't seen on my channel the um, early videos of when I was into stock trading videos, I made some really good trades and talked about DraftKings stock when... It first came out, it was $19, and now it's sitting at just over 60 as it hit today. So I more than 3 x my money on that. Uh, I've been doing some day trading and have a lot of dividend stocks. And I don't know what is going on with this screenshot. It is got flipped somehow. But you can see, maybe you can see at the top, it says past month up 11% for $667 increase. So in the last month, a uh, combination of just my stocks increasing, doing some day trading, so selling and buying stocks, and then some dividend income, it is a total of $677 there. And that brings the total up to $986 for the last month. So now for the big one is Etsy. So if you didn't watch my early videos, it was primarily focused around Etsy, and that's where I make the most money online. So some crazy things has happened since those videos, which is why I haven't really made that many videos on Etsy. Um, well, my stores got suspended, basically, and it basically shut down my stores that were making four to five, six thousand dollars in profit a month, and also pretty much right after that. Um, that was in February, then March hit, and a lot of these print-on-demand suppliers basically shut down, so I would have had to suspend my store myself anyways. But getting back into that and basically doing the same exact methods of clothing and another type of store, so profits are down, but still my main source of online income, so $820 in profit on my clothing store. And for my other store, $2,205 in profit, which brings the total up to $4,011 of income that I've made online. Yeah, so I wanted to break down all of these things, show you guys why I've been making these videos, um, what's working the best, and kind of things I'm excited about and trying to get more into. So I wanted to also show you guys that it is possible to make a full-time income online and working from home and a total of all these things combined since it is so much passive income I probably spend 10 hours or less a week on all of these combined um, a lot of these things I just do for fun I think they're fun to uh, try to put something out there and see if people will pay you for it see if there's any way of hustling online not having to work for someone else working for yourself so hopefully all these things inspired you guys to get into selling some things online and making your passive income and side hustles online. So now that we got all of my sources of online income covered, the things that I really want to be getting into in the upcoming times is Shopify. So I was super into Shopify and drop shipping. Um, it didn't have much success. I actually had one store that was really successful but ended up getting kind of screwed over, which is a whole different story. May do a video on that at some point, but I really wanted to get into Shopify and try drop shipping now that have 
so much more experience designing and in marketing and honestly think I'm just more ready for opening up a Shopify store which is more of a kind of legit business that you have to put a lot more time into so really want to get into Shopify drop shipping so look out for some videos coming up on that and next is merch by Amazon so I started kind of dabbling in this with some of my Redbubble and Etsy designs throwing them up on merch by Amazon the thing about them is they're a lot more strict about copyright um, so be very careful if you do get into merch by Amazon but I've heard that is almost on par with selling print on demand on Etsy so excited to try some merch by Amazon and I'll update you guys if I end up throwing up more designs there and end up getting some sales there so those are the two big things that I want to be getting into as well as continuing to increase the profits on all of my side hustles and passive income sources so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to check out more videos I'm going to link all them down below and then I'm also going to keep putting out content like this on different side hustles so definitely subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in another one